You do not have to be a great reader to have fun reading aloud with children. The key is to enjoy it because if you enjoy it, they're going to enjoy it. And we want them to come back and we want them to have a love for reading. So this is Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog. It's a fun read aloud. My class has always enjoyed it. And you can even start by talking about hot dogs. If you like hot dogs, what do you like to eat on your hot dogs? The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog, written and illustrated by Mo Willems. Ooh, a hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Also, take your time turning the pages. Let the children see all the pictures. Ah, may I help you? Goody, goody, goody. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Ah. I have a question. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really wait a second. And you can stop at any time in the book. This is a great time to stop and say, what do you think Pigeon is thinking? What do you think Ducky is thinking? What do you think is going to happen? This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course, enjoy. Go ahead. Oh, would you say that it tastes like chicken? Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog. Okay. And you can even stop at times like this and say, why do you think the words are written really big like this? And it's because Pigeon's really upset. He is raising his voice. Okay, okay. So, it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm a curious bird. That's it. It's my hot dog, right? My, my, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? And this is a great time to stop also and ask, is Pigeon being kind? Is he being a good friend? What should he do? And he asked, what should I do? What am I supposed to do? You can also talk about these lines and how it's like, Pigeon's thinking and he's frustrated and angry. I think I've got an idea. And ask the children, do you have an idea? You know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. Hmm, needs mustard. And then always take time to talk about the story to ask what they think, what they might have changed about it. Make it a fun, enjoyable time and experience that will go way beyond just the moment of reading. Have fun with it.